Hey guys, we are at David and Sally's house. We're looking at doing a boiler replacement. Um, so this old cast iron boiler is gonna be abandoned. Um, we're not gonna remove it at this time. They'll have a demolition company come out and remove it. Um, we got two and a half inch pipe that goes into it for both supply and return on both sides. So um, it looks like it's all gravity fed from first floor and second floor. So two separate little zones or maybe it's zoned front and back, I'm not quite sure. But essentially, I want to come out of this union right here, um, or that coupling, and rebuild. The new boiler is going to be mounted to the wall right here. So we'll get this piping out of the way. We'll drain this old boiler to the floor drain here. Um, get some of this piping out of the way on the right side of the system. Mount our new boiler to the wall here. This is the gas line. Runs up to the ceiling and all the way down to the gas meter, which is in the other room. We're just going to take the gas line right here at this elbow and build that over to where our new boiler is on this wall. Um, and then on this side of the system, there's more supply and return piping. I think if we can come out right here and here, just to give them some more headroom above the washer and dryer and build our yes. plumbing up to the ceiling, we're going to have to tie this supply back in. And there's another one right here with this union that looks like it goes up into um, a radiator on the first floor. So we'll tie those back in. And let's see here, build everything back over to where the new boiler is gonna go. So essentially all this piping is just gonna have to get cut out and pressed back onto um, and built over to where the new system's gonna sit. We have the floor drain in front for our backflow preventer um, and the condensate from the boiler itself. Our water line is right here. So we'll come from, um, follow that cold water line back over to this side. We'll just tap into it here and drop back down into the new boiler for our water feed. And then we're going to tie our domestic hot water back into the water lines right there as well for hot and cold water for the space. Um, flue pipe is going to have to go up into the ceiling. We're either going to go um, through this side of the house here or we're going to go over above this window and poke out wherever we can do it as far as code. Um, we'll cap the chimney here so that'll be abandoned. We'll just put metal caps over both of those. This water heater um, is going to get removed and we'll save that so we can donate it to somebody that needs it. Um, we'll cap the gas lines that go to it and cap all the water lines that, that fed it. Um, back over to this side of the basement so you can see the main water feed is right here and there's your gas meter it's a 425 gas meter um, and it is it does look like it's high pressure that should be everything downstairs in the basement that pertains to this portion of the install um, so here's our breaker panel. This is a square D home line center. Number 19 is open right there. I think we can use that for a 20 amp circuit and we'll run that electrical up to the ceiling and across over to the, the new unit. Okay guys, here is the outside of the house. Um, so you can see where the chimney was. That's the little window above that old radiator. I think that was actually a cold chute. Um, this would be the wall where our new boiler is going to mount to and I think probably right here in between these two is going to be the best place for us to poke out with our intake and exhaust um, but I'll let you guys make the call when you're here.